kept saying over and over, give it to me, give it to me. So tied at 86, four second differential between the 24 second clock and the game clock. It is Michael Jordan time. Scotty Pippen looking, looking for Michael Jordan. Checks the clock, five on the 24. Here's Jordan, did not have the shot. Sucks. Alright. I mean, I really don't know how it just all of a sudden just went downhill, but it really did. I mean, today, all you got is, you know, back in the 90s, you had legends. Jordan, Pippen, Wilkins, Webb, Larry Johnson, so, you know, Drexler, just, just the name of you. Today you got you know, but a whole bunch of greedy, overpaid, injury prone, disloyal, no love for the game, motherfuckers. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I could not take them seriously. I don't see how these people could either. For instance, for instance, like, they only have like two dominant teams in the NBA. There's no competition. That's another reason why the NBA sucks. There's no competition. You only got two dominant teams. You got in the West Coast, you got the Lakers. East Coast, you got the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers, they're kind of like the Colts, you know. The number one team in the league, they always chokes in the playoffs. And then, um, but you got a few other teams that are right behind them that try. You got old ass Boston Celtics. You got the Orlando Magic. And then on the West Coast, you got Denver, you got Dallas. That's about it. That's about it. That's all you got. And you got San Antonio. They're old and washed up, too. They're probably like one of the most boring teams in the NBA, if not number one. But another thing, it, like their NBA championships, they really, you know, if you've been like a fan of wrestling for years, you probably be like, well, you one of those people who think wrestling sucks now compared to what it did 10 years ago. I'm going to make a rant video about that as well. If, I mean, if you're one of those type of people, you, you probably like, you know, their belts don't mean no credibility. Well, the NBA, their uh, NBA championships don't have no credibility whatsoever because hell, half of them. I mean, you know how the NFL, everybody says, you know, the Patriots, they be asterisks by their uh, Super Bowl wins. The NBA, you could pretty much say the exact same thing. I mean, the referees, they be fixing all these championships for the Lakers, and San Antonio, Tim Donahue. And then, on top of all that, I mean, some of these players, like I said, they're, they're overpaid. You do not pay people that much money and all they play is like 20 bucks 20 games a year and just because they're injured they're sussies i mean you got all these first round busts and then um like greg odin for example i love the kid but he's you know like he's not gonna get material i give him another year or two he's done and um yeah yeah you know, another reason why the NBA is going downhill, um, look at the All-Star games, they're boring as hell. I mean, they, you remember back in the 90s when they were entertaining? No, they were entertaining back in the 80s. They have dunk contests, it's whack. I mean, you see the exact same stuff over and over again. And then, um, you know, um, then, I said another thing, you know another thing that bothers me? Some of these white boys in the NBA, they actually play harder than all the brothers do. You ever notice that? And they don't get paid that much money. I mean, some of them probably, you could say, some of you could probably argue that they're not as good. I mean, which, I don't know which is the debate. But other than that, 
yeah, this is, this is all there is about the NBA, it's just, but hey, you know what, the NFL's gonna go downhill as well, so, I think the NBA, I think that what they should do is they should have, like, as far as, like, some of these guys just, you know, coming fresh out of college after their freshman year, I think, you know how some jobs require you to have a college degree? I think the NBA should have something where you need an associate's degree to go to the NBA or something, because so you just got all these first round busts. It just don't make no sense. The NBA sucks ass, and it's sad. I mean, I, I see some dudes at Riverside Park, where I live at, they could play hoop better than them. You know? Yeah, the only thing entertaining about the NBA today is probably video games, that's about it, but, you know, that's all I really got to say, what, good luck to whoever wins the championship, like I said, it's probably the Lakers, but, I hope not, but hey, like I said, their championships really don't mean anything, I'm out.